Well, did you know that the city of Greer is the second fastest growing city in the state? We think it's so cute. We love it. We have got Miss Ayla Fitzpatrick. I know you're used to seeing her on Channel 7. You left us to go work for the city of Greer and doing a fantastic job Thank along you. with Miss Emma Mann with the city of Greer. And you ladies, y'all got a big old event happening tomorrow night. This has been an annual thing, Freedom Blast. We do. So it'll be taking place this Saturday from 6 p.m. until about 10.30. Um, this will be our 13th Freedom Blast. Wow. Um, so we did skip it in 2020 because of COVID, but yeah, this number 13, so we're very excited. Started back in 2009, um, so we'll have a bunch of different things going on, everything from a military tribute. We'll also have um, live entertainment. We'll have 20 food vendors um, that'll be there, a kid zone, and then also our big fireworks display. The fireworks, when did the fireworks happen? Once it's dark? So it'll start about 10 o'clock okay. is usually when we'll start that. So it could end about 10, 15-ish, yeah. um, so a little bit before 10.30, but it's a great show. Well, I'm excited. And Ayla, you know, you've probably covered this event for a lot of years. <laughs> <laughs> when you, when you work for years, what is it like now being the one that's like putting these on? And well, it's so amazing to see Emma and the rest of the team kind of work behind the scenes and get together this massive event. But it's not just the city of Greer. We have a lot of community partners who also come out and make it all happen. You know, we we have the DAV, the American Legion, of course, our sponsors, Texas Roadhouse. They sponsor the rib eating contest, yes. which is something people don't want to miss out on. Yeah, we're going to have to circle come back and talk about that in a second. Uh -huh. <laughs> you be in it, Megan. Yeah. yeah. So, like, you just sit there and see how fast you can eat ribs, how many ribs you can eat. That's it. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like this is something you need to do just so we can see how to do it next year. I was told to never eat on TV. So. Right. <laughs> we, we won't be filming that for that. But so many things. So, like, if you want to sign up for that, can you do it there? Should you do stuff in advance. Yeah, so we a lot of times will um, reach out to a lot of our veterans to um, be a part of it. We love oh, having so them fun. be a part of it or current, you know, service members as well. So we love to have them um, participate in it. So. Well, I like too that it's like a, a 4th of July event, but it's not on the 4th of July because mm -hmm. so many times you're out of town or there's yes. other things. So it's like, yay, we can do things leading up to the 4th. Yes, and this is really all about, you know, celebrating those that are in the military or our veterans. So we do a big veteran walk um, during our military tribute. So that's probably my favorite part of the festival, honestly. Um, it's such a special moment to see, see them and see the crowd just thank them for their service. Well, I love that. I love that y'all are doing that. And you know, and Ayla, we mentioned that Greer is the second fastest growing city in the state. So how do events like this kind of help showcase the city of Greer? Well, it gives people a chance to come in and see what we do on one of our best days. You know, we yeah. love Greer every day, but this is kind of our one of our premier events that we invite people to come into the city, see what we're all about. The festival is going on obviously in City Park, but all of our restaurants and boutiques and things like that are open downtown as well. So Freedom Blast really extends, you know, out from the park where City Hall is into the rest of the downtown Smart. and showcases really everything that we have to offer. So if people out there haven't been to Greer before or have been wanting to come down to, you know, see some stuff that's new, we just had Cartwright Food Hall that yes. opened. This is uh -huh. a fantastic time to come down and kind of explore and see everything Greer has to offer. I love it. We can't wait. And if you have not been downtown, you're missing out. I mean, from the food, just the twinkling lights, and no, it's like, yeah, a, you know, it's like a Hallmark <laughs> little town, and the shopping, like some of the best little boutiques. Mm -hmm. So, I love that. So go tomorrow. It starts at six. Six starts at six. Yep. Six o'clock. All right, downtown Greer. Be there. Great to see you. All right. Yeah, Thanks, nice to meet you, Emma. Very cool. All right, let's head over to 96 to see what Jamar.